Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, we're going to create a game of tic-tac-toe using JavaScript. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, all right, everybody, let's create a game of tic-tac-toe. Let's create a div element to contain our game. Div, this will have an ID of what about game container. Let's close it. I'll add a title. This will be an H1 header tag. The title will be tick tack toe. We'll create a div section for a grid. Div ID equals, let's name this cell container. It will contain nine cells for each of the spaces. Then let's close it. Within our cell container div, we're going to create nine div tags. Div. We'll create an attribute named cell index. I'll set the first equal to zero. Add them to a class. The class will be cell. Then close the div tag. Let's copy this development and paste it eight additional times. So we should have a total of nine. We have cell index zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight outside of our cell container that ends right here it looks like we'll create an h2 header tag to display some messages like whose turn it is who won so let's close this h2 header tag i will give this an id of what about status text then we'll need a button button the ID will be restart button, add some text, restart. Okay, that should be everything within our HTML file. Let's head to our CSS style sheet. Be sure to save everything. Let's begin with the cell class. This is a class, so use dot, the name of the class, cell. I'll set a width of 75 pixels, a height of 75 pixels. I'll add a border. Two pixels solid is good. Okay, here's our div elements so far, but we got to put them in a grid. They're all in a single column. I'll select our cell container. We're selecting this by an ID. Cell container. The display will be grid. Grid template columns. Repeat. Three, auto. Then we got to set a width. Width, 225 pixels. Margin, auto. Yeah! Let's head back to our cell class. Let's add a box shadow. Box, shadow, zero, 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 two pixels. All of these lines should have an even thickness. I'll add a line height of 75 pixels. Just to test the X's and O's, I'm going to add an X like right here and an O here. Let's edit the font. Font size 50 pixels. When I move my cursor over these cells, I would like my cursor to be a pointer to indicate that we can click on something. So cursor, pointer. Let's test that. Yeah, there's our pointer. Okay, let's select our game container. I'm going to center everything and change the font. Game container. I'll add a font family. I'll select permanent marker. I like that font. And a backup of cursive. Then we just got to center everything within this container. Text align center yeah and that's our css style sheet so let's get rid of this x and o that we have i was just writing that there to test it okay so our html file is done our css file is done let's head to our javascript file okay now we're within our javascript file let's declare all of the variables that we'll need const cells equals document dot query 
selector all. We're selecting a class, the cell class, dot cell. Then let's select status text, const status text document dot query selector, not query selector all. We are selecting status text. Then our restart button, const restart button, id restart button. We need a constant of all of our win conditions. Const win conditions. Win conditions will be a two dimensional array of indices. If three cells all have the same character, we would need to check that, but we'll have to know what cells to check. Let's begin with the first row. These would have indices of 0, 1, 2. So let's add that. 0, 1, 2. Then the second row. 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8. Then columns. 0, 3, 6. One, four, seven. Two, five, eight. Then the diagonals. Zero, four, eight. Two, four, six. And that's it. We'll need an array of placeholders. I'll name this options. Let options equals. Options will be originally an array of empty strings. We'll need nine of them. One for each cell. Okay, let's make sure we have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll need to keep track of the current player. Let current player equal x. Then we'll need a boolean variable to keep track if our game is running. Let running equals false. We'll switch this to true when we initialize our game. Let's create all of the different functions that we'll need. Function initialize game. Function Cell clicked. Function update cell. There will be two parameters, cell as well as index. Function change player. Function check winner. Function restart game. Okay, and that's the functions. When we begin our game, let's initialize the game. We'll use this function initialize game to take care of any setup before we need to start. We'll have to add some event listeners to our cells. Take our cells, then use the for each method. We'll use an arrow function expression. For each cell, we will take our cell, add event listener. The event will be click. We will add a callback of cell clicked. The second line will add an event listener to our restart button. Restart button dot add event listener. When we click, we are going to invoke the restart game function. For the third line, let's update our status text. Status text dot text content set this equal to, I'll use a template literal, current player, it's their turn. Okay, it looks like we have one problem. Looks like I accidentally capitalized that L in current player. 
Okay, let's work on the cell clicked function. When we click on a cell, what are we going to do? I'll create a local variable, const cell index. I will set this equal to this. This refers to whatever cell that we click on. We will get an attribute, get attribute. The attribute that we're getting is cell index. We have an index number. What we would like to check to see is if that index number within our options, our placeholders, are not empty. We'll only want to update a cell if there's nothing there. If our options at index of cell index does not equal an empty space, or if the game is not running then we will return, not do anything. Otherwise, we will invoke the update cell function, pass in this as an argument, as well as cell index, followed by check winner function. Okay, let's head to the update cell function. Take options at index of the index parameter, Set this equal to the current player. So we're updating our placeholders. Then change the text content of one of these cells, whatever cell that we click on originally. Cell.text content equals current player. Now we should be able to click on at least one of these cells. Oh, I forgot one thing. When we initialize our game, we have to set running to true. Running equals true. There. So we can click on one of these spaces. X, 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 X. Then we just need to change the player. Take our current player. Then we will set this equal to, then use the ternary operator. Our condition is if change player is equal to X. If current player is equal to X, we will reassign our current player with O, otherwise X. Then take status text dot text content, set this equal to, I'll use a template literal, current player, it's their turn. Yeah, just temporarily I'm going to invoke this function after updating a cell. Now we should be able to alternate between X's and O's. X, O, X, O, X, O. Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna remove this. I was just testing it to make sure it works. Okay, then head to our check winner function. We have a lot to do here. We'll create a temporary variable of round one. I will set this equal to false. If somebody wins, we'll flip this to be true. We'll use a for loop. We haven't used those for a while. We will iterate over all of the win conditions within our two-dimensional array. The first statement will be let i equal zero. We'll continue this as long as i is less than our win conditions dot length property increment i by one. We will iterate over each inner array within win conditions, but let's store each of these arrays within a temporary variable const condition equals win condition at our current index of i. Each row has three indices. Const cell a equals our options, but at what index? Well, the index is going to be our condition at index zero. Then we have cell b, cell b, condition at one, cell C, condition index of two. Let me explain how this is gonna work. Let's head to the top. We're iterating over all of these inner arrays. We'll begin with the first. We have three indices, zero, one, two. We're going to check within our options at these three indices, zero, one, two, at least that row to begin with. If these three are not spaces and they're all the same, that means somebody won. If there is no winner, we'll check the next set of win conditions. 
three, four, and five. These are indices. Within our option at these three indices, three, four, and five, if there are no spaces and they're all the same character, that means somebody won. We'll repeat this process for each set of win conditions. So heading back down to our check winner function, we'll need to check if there's any empty spaces. If cell A is equal to an empty space or cell B is equal to an empty space or cell C is equal to an empty space. If there's an empty space, we'll continue and skip this iteration. So if there are no empty spaces, that means all the spaces are full. Let's make sure they're all the same character. If cell A is equal to cell B and cell B is equal to cell C. That means we have a winner. We'll take our local variable of round one, set this equal to true, then break. We don't need to continue this for loop anymore. We can break out of it. Outside of our for loop, if round one is equal to true, let's update our status text right here. Status text dot text content is equal to, I'll use a template literal, current player wins. Running equals false. The game is over. Else if. So if there's no spaces left, it's a draw. We could check that with this condition. Take our options, then use the includes method. We'll check for any spaces. Does our array include any spaces? Precede this with the not logical operator. If our options does not include any spaces. If this is true, then we will update our status text to equal draw running equals false. Else we can change player, change player. Okay, let's try this. X, O, X, O, X, O. Uh, we should have a winner here. Yeah, X wins. Let's work on this restart button to restart the game. We'll take current player, set this equal to X. Take our options. I'll just copy this. We're going to reset them. So they're all empty spaces. Status text dot text content equals I'll use a template literal current players turn we'll have to clear each cell take our cells use the for each method use an arrow function expression for each cell we will take that cell update the text content equal to an empty space then set running equal to true. Okay, let me make sure the game's a draw first. Okay, draw, I'm going to restart, and we have a new game. So yeah, everybody, that is a basic game of tic-tac-toe. If you would like a copy of all this code, I'll post this in the comment section down below, underneath the original video in this playlist. And well, yeah, that's a basic game of tic-tac-toe using JavaScript.